Hey, what's up, Monoxide? I was actually going to make a video about Carlito today, but I see you beat me to the punch, so I'm just going to make a response to your video about it and state my opinions on what I think about Carlito. First off, when I found out that somehow this man got him to re-sign with the WWE, I was shocked. I thought Carlito was out on his way out. I thought he was really wanting to leave the WWE and probably go to TNA. And when I heard he resigned, I had mixed feelings about that because for one, yes, I want to see Carlito in WWE. He belongs in WWE. But the way he's been handled the past like year and a half, two years, has been shit. You know? I mean, there's no reason why Carlito isn't in the main event. His first match on SmackDown, he wins the US title against John Cena. His first match on Raw, he wins the Intercontinental title against Sheldon Benjamin. So I don't understand how someone can win all these titles and have these semi pushes but then get the push so many times the way he has. It's a big mystery. Now you touched on the fact that he might be lazy. I also heard he might have a bad attitude as well because I think, I forgot which WrestleMania was it was, but the time when him and Ric Flair was getting teamed up a lot and it was having a whole storyline and they weren't, they weren't in WrestleMania, he had supposedly went on a radio show and talked about that and was pissed off how WWE didn't put Ric Flair himself on the card at WrestleMania, so WWE wasn't too happy with what he said, so they kind of like punished him for that. So, him having a supposed bad attitude, him being lazy, I think is the reasons why WWE kind of de-pushed him. But I personally feel, I mean, the man has is a triple threat. He's a triple package. Great mic skills, great look, great athlete and wrestler. I mean, he has everything that it takes to be a main event, to be a world heavyweight champion. Yet, it's a big mystery to why this man hasn't gotten the just deserved credit he's supposed to have had a long time ago. There's no reason why they would push someone like Batista and someone like Greg Khali as a heavyweight champion and not make Carlito a heavyweight champion. I mean, come on, that's bullshit. You know, Carlito, I, I don't know, like, I don't think he made the right decision resigning with WWE. I don't know what Vince said, like, no one knows what Vince did to convince him, but if putting him in a tag team, promising him a world tag title shot was one of the reasons why Carlito resigned, and that's stupid on his part. I hope that wasn't the reason. But yeah, it looks like now, they're going to put him with Santino. They're going to have this kind of offbeat comedy team. It looks like they're going to they're gonna probably get the tag titles because Cody Rose and Hardcore Holly are boring as hell. So, you know, and as we all know, tag teams are shit in the WWE. So, yeah, maybe he'll have his little push in the tag title and then go off being a singles wrestler again. But personally, I don't want to see him as an Intercontinental Champion. He already had it, been there, done that. If they need to put the Intercontinental title again, on him again, then so be it. I'd rather see Mr. Kenny as an Intercontinental Champion because he deserves to have it at least once. But as of now, no, they should keep Carlito as a heel. Even though I like him as a face a little bit, keep him as a heel. He's better off as a heel and work with him again. Like, I was even thinking about maybe putting him in ECW, see how he does at ECW, but nah, let him be on Raw. But then again, it's like Triple H. The Triple H factor always kills me because as we've seen what happened, Triple H basically made Carlito his bitch for like a few weeks. Just fucking him up left and right, making him look so bad. Then having him get beat by Hornswoggle, I mean, all this stuff was happening to, to Carlito and yet he took all that shit and still want to be with them. Like, I don't get that. You mentioned how you don't want to see him in TNA. I have to disagree with that. I think if he went to TNA, his full potential may finally come out and we can see what he could really do. You know, he, let's say he goes in there as a face. He's gonna, he'll potentially have a match with Kurt Angle. That would be freaking awesome. Kurt Angle versus Carlito, you know? Or Kurt, uh, Carlito versus AJ Styles. Carlito versus Christopher Daniels when he returns. You know, they could put him in the X Division and see how he does with that. As of now, I just think his run in the WWE is just going nowhere. You know, hopefully, putting him, them putting him in a tag team with Sergio Morella will go somewhere. Maybe it'll get him back in with the fans, so to speak. But I still feel like they have no clue, no direction to where they want Carlito to be and what what they want him to do and that's sad because the guy does have all the talent now if he does have a bad attitude and if he is lazy then that's his fault and he's the, he's the fuck up and he should really like get his act together but no one really knows the truth it's like a big mystery to why Carlito is where he's at right now maybe if they threw him back on Smackdown 
that might be good. But then again, you got Undertaker, Batista, and they're going to be still in all the spotlight. And Edge right now is the top heel on SmackDown, so, you know, that's a good thing. But I still think WWE got to really repackage Carlito again. They got to sit back like the writers, especially the writers got to find a good storyline for Carlito and let him run with it. I mean, Carlito has proven himself so many times. He can do well on the mic. He can do well in the ring. He can do well with anything you ask him to do. He can do it, you know? But it's up to the writers, it's up to Vince McMahon and whoever else is in charge to give Carlito a good storyline and let him run with it and see where it goes from there. I hope he does good in the Royal Rumble, has a good showing. Of course, he's not going to win it, but I hope he has a good showing at the Royal Rumble and kick some ass and see where it goes from there. Now, I want to mention one more thing. You mentioned uh, Rick Martel. I'm a huge Rick Martel fan. I love the whole model gimmick. It was awesome. And one of the reasons I feel he wasn't pushed to even to be an Intercontinental Champion is because of his accent. I think his accent kind of held him back. It was so, so thick. And during that time, there was so, so much politics as well. I think Hulk Hogan kind of held him down. I heard rumors of Hulk Hogan holding him down. Iron Sheik actually did a shoot interview saying he didn't want a job to Rick Martel, which was stupid. I don't know why, but I think Rick Martel was like so good, but yet he had so much bullshit behind him that people held him down. And I feel the same thing is happening to Carlito right now. He's getting held down for no reason in particular. We don't know why he's getting held down, but he's getting held down so severely. And I hope, I hope he made the right decision to signing with the WWE. I hope he doesn't regret it. And I hope the WWE gives this guy a fucking chance. Let this man get a good storyline and let him run away. That's all I'm asking the WWE. That's all I want you to do. If you see this, please give this man a chance. The fans will respond to him. The fans love to boo him. They love to cheer him. He gets great reactions. Let the man do his thing in the ring and let it go from there. That's all I'm asking. So that's all I want to say. Peace out, man.